Welcome. In this e-learning module, I shall teach and make you understand how to calculate the pillar length and diameter. As the guide pillar experience an axial load, the guide pillar is designed for buckling. First, let's calculate the pillar length. Pillar length is equal to the shut height minus 10 millimeters. Remember, the shut height of the 40 ton press that we have selected for his design is 240 millimeters. So, the pillar length is 240 millimeters minus 10 millimeters, which is equal to 230 millimeters. Next, let's calculate the pillar diameter. Pillar diameter calculation is a four step process. In step one, we will calculate the transition slenderness ratio. In step 2, we will calculate the slenderness ratio. In step 3, we will calculate the critical buckling stress and the critical buckling load. In step 4, we will calculate the actual load on the pillar and finalize the pillar diameter. In step 2 of the calculation, we will calculate the cross-section area, the area moment of inertia, the radius of gyration, the effective length, and eventually calculate the slenderness ratio. In step 3, we will calculate the critical buckling stress using the Johnson or the Euler equation. We will also calculate the critical buckling load. In step 4, we will calculate the actual load, and if the actual load is less than the critical buckling load, then the design is safe. First, let's calculate the transition slenderness ratio. The formula used to calculate the transition slenderness ratio is DSR is equal to the square root of 2 into pi squared into E divided by SY. Where E is the Young's modulus of steel, which is 210,000 newton per square millimeter. SY is the yield strength of steel, which is 250 newton per square millimeter. By substituting the values, the transition slenderness ratio of the pillar is 128.8. Let's proceed to calculate the slenderness ratio. First, let's calculate the cross section area of the pillar. The formula to calculate the pillar's cross-section area is equal to pi into d squared divided by 4. Let's consider the diameter of the pillar as 20 mm. I recommend a minimum of 20 mm diameter pillar for press tools. By substituting the value of diameter, the cross-section area of the pillar is 314.2 square millimeters. Next, let's calculate the area moment of inertia for the pillar. The formula to calculate the area moment of inertia I is equal to pi into d raised to the power of 4 divided by 64. By substituting the value of diameter, the area moment of inertia of the pillar is 7854 mm raised to the power of 4. Next, let's calculate the radius of gyration. The formula to calculate the radius of gyration of the pillar, Rg, is equal to the square root of I divided by A. By substituting the values of area moment of inertia and cross-sectional area, the radius of gyration is 5.0. Next, let's calculate the slenderness ratio. The formula to calculate the slenderness ratio is LE divided by RG. Where LE is the effective length of the pillar. As mentioned earlier, the guide pillar experiences an axial load, the guide pillar is designed for buckling. The theoretical effective lengths of columns are as shown in this illustration. The end condition applicable for the guide pillar is one fixed end and one free end. The effective length LE is equal to 2 times the L. L is equal to 230 mm minus 50 mm. Where 230 mm is the guide pillar's total length, which we calculated earlier, and 50 mm is the die shoe thickness. L is equal to 180 mm. And LE is equal to 2 into 180 mm, which is equal to 360 mm. Substituting all the values, we get the slenderness ratio is equal to 72. Next, let's calculate the critical buckling stress and load. Suppose the slenderness ratio SR is less than the transition slenderness ratio. In that case, we need to use the Johnson equation to calculate the critical buckling stress. If the slenderness ratio SR is more than the transition slenderness ratio, then to calculate the critical buckling stress, we need to use the Euler equation. As the calculated slenderness ratio SR is less than the transition slenderness ratio, we will use the Johnson equation to calculate the critical buckling stress. Sigma CR is equal to pi squared into E divided by SR squared. Substituting the values, we calculate the critical buckling stress sigma CR as 399.8 newtons per square millimeter. Next, let's calculate the critical buckling load using the formula FCR is equal to sigma CR into A. 
substituting the values, we calculate the critical buckling load FCR as 125,604.1 newtons. Next, let's calculate the actual load and finalize the pillar diameter. The total load on the guide pillars is the shear force. Shear force is equal to 14,410 kilograms, which is 141,362.1 newtons. We will plan to use two pillars for this press tool. So, the force on each pillar is 70,681.1 newtons. The critical buckling load FCR is 125,604.1 newtons. The critical buckling load is more than the actual force per pillar. Hence the design is safe. So the pillar length is 230 millimeters, and the pillar diameter is 20 millimeters. With this, we have successfully calculated the pillar length and diameter. That's all in this e-learning module. Thanks.